Blood donation is seen as an act of solidarity by individuals who support the efforts to save lives. I'm very happy donating blood. It's a painless experience. And um, I actually endure, I, I actually appreciate what Lagos State is doing, um, that we can donate blood. But going forward, I actually would like to donate maybe every six months, or thereabouts, maybe like three times in a year. And I'll be very glad to do that for Lagos State and so many people who need it. Health practitioners are concerned about the poor culture of blood donation, which they say has cost a lot of people their lives due to unavailability of blood at critical points of their treatment. In Nigeria, 80 to 90 percent of maternal mortality is as a result of bleeding complications made worse due to shortage of blood. Blood donation. Raising awareness for increased voluntary donation is the reason the Lagos State Government is holding a symposium and scientific conference in commemoration of the 2022 World Blood Donor Day in GRA Keja on the benefits of blood donation. The State Commissioner for Health, Professor Akia Bayomi, says Lagos is short of 100,000 units of blood, which must be addressed critically. At the moment, our target, minimum target, is 200,000 units of blood a year for Lagos State. And we've only managed to hit 50%, which means that there is a big gap. We are short of 100,000 units of blood in Lagos State. We have a blood donor uh, bus. We have all kinds of activities. We've acquired new equipment. When we give you a blood transfusion, we're actually carrying out what we call an organ transplant. So the first thing we have to do is make sure that every blood unit that is in Lagos State is free of the opportunity to cause another problem in a patient. Support for patients living with human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, is also echoed at this gathering. Continuing transmission support and patient blood management remains crucial in HIV treatment and control in Lagos State. Voluntary blood donation is key to meeting the needs of 44% of demands for blood in Lagos. Everyone in good health has been charged to help save lives and build a sustainable and resilient national blood system. All right, for more on World Blood Donor Day Awareness, I had a chat with the Executive Secretary of the Lagos State Blood Transfusion Service, Dr. Bodri Oshikomaya, and I began by asking her why there is so much skepticism with the issue of blood donation in the country. Well, the rate of donation depends on those that are donating. According to the WHO, that's World Health Organization, which says that we should have at least blood donation from 1 to 2 percent of the um, population. And with that, with an estimate of about 200,000, then I can say that the Lagos State um, citizens have donated about 56 percent of what WHO has um, asked us to do. But with respect to voluntary blood donations, um, only 10 percent of these donors are actually voluntary blood donors. All right, so um, I know that so many people, you know, when you talk about blood donations and ask people to come donate blood, there's always a bit of skepticism yeah. you know, concerning that. And um, aside from human nature, I mean, what other hindrances, you know, do you face, you know, when it comes to that aspect? So there are lots of myths about voluntary blood donation. There are lots of, and it's actually those myths that creates that fear. Some people believe that if they donate blood, they could have an infection. And uh, we always try to educate people that every material that is being used are sterile, they are going to be open in front of you. You will not have any form of infection while donating blood. Some people are scared of pain and so we tell them, see, you feel the pain of the needle, it's just a tiny prick, you know, but if you look at what you'll be doing while saving blood, saving lives, that's giving the blood to save lives, then um, you will uh, be able to get over it. And then there's a lot of fear about where to donate blood. So there's a lot of um, advocacy and awareness campaigns about where to go to, go to the state hospitals, there are some licensed private hospitals that can also collect blood from you. All right, so the WHO recommends about 60,000 units um, of blood donations, and uh, I just want to ask, when are we likely to 
you know, get to this stage well, in Lagos State? Well, <laughs> WHO requ- recommends a percentage. So with the WHO, okay, it's yeah, it's a percentage. So 1% to 2%. So if you go 1% of the population in Lagos State, um, Lagos is about 20 million. So one percent of twenty million is about two hundred thousand. So WHO requests and advises that we should have at least two hundred thousand units of blood, and that's what I said earlier that we have about fifty six percent. To get to the two thousand two hundred thousand mark, that is full hundred percent. Well, it depends on you and I. <laughs> we can get there in a few months as long as Lagosians come up to donate blood. And which brings me to the issue of voluntary blood donation. I mean, from what uh, uh, you, you just pointed out there, can we really uh, get to that stage? I mean, or can we um, um, achieve that target? Yes, we can achieve that target. Um, we can achieve it. Everything is possible. It's all about telling everybody why you should donate blood. Who needs the blood? We don't need to wait until emergencies. We are used to having this uh, fire um, man approach. Anytime it comes to blood donation, we need to stop going for donation only in emergencies. But we also need donation even in peace when everything is right for people that are in the hospitals to donate blood. Mm. So let's talk about the, um, the development of systems. I mean, the WHO also recommended that, uh, you know, we have we develop uh, systems such as uh, hospital transfusion committees yeah. and uh, something called hemo vigilance. vigilance. Mm-hmm. All right. So, um, how far has the state gone in this regard? Yes, every state health facility. I've got um, a hospital blood transition committee that is headed usually by head personnel. Um, most of the personnel are actually facilities, units that make use of blood a lot. So you can have the hematologists being the head of the blood transition committee. You can have the obstetricians, you can have the pediatricians. You can have the nephrologists being the head of the blood transition committee. So the blood transition committee is the technical team. And every state health facility has got it. Now, we have a few um, private health facilities with blood transition committees. So the more the blood you use, if you use a lot of blood in your facility, then we mandate you to have the blood transition committee. Tell us, who are those eligible you know, to donate blood? I mean, uh, what's the uh, screening process and before an actual donation uh, takes place? And how long does it uh, take to uh, donate they blood, do. indeed? We have a group of people called um, deferral. So some people are not able to donate blood either immediately or permanently. So we have deferrals. They're all called deferrals. It can be permanent deferrals or it can be uh, a temporary deferrals. Tattoo is a temporary deferral. Our policy in Lagos that says that you can donate blood one year after your tattoo, your piercing, or scarification marks. So you can donate blood, but the timing matters. So coming to the processes or eligibility for blood donation, a male or female can donate on some conditions. First of all, your age, you have to be above 18 years old. If you are between 16 and 18 years old, then we need the parental consent before you can donate blood. And the maximum age of donating blood is 65, only if you have been a regular blood donor. So for most people that have not been donating blood, usually by 60, they would like to stop or we do not allow them to donate blood. So if you are a regular blood donor, we can allow you to donate blood till 65 years old. I guess we'll just have to leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Bodrin Shukumaya, thank you so much for your thoughts on uh, news across Nigeria. We appreciate you. Thank you.